Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. I decided it was time for a little update to YouTube. I haven't, uh, haven't I've been making videos, but I've been, uh, they've been reviews for stuff on Amazon. And actually, this review I, I will be doing here in a few minutes. It's a power pack. This one is, uh, I think, 3,200 milliamp power bank. And, of course, it uh, is a flashlight also. And, actually, this one is, the flashlight part is, whoops, now it's sending uh, Morse code for uh, SOS. It's an emergency light here. See if I shut it off, yeah. This piece of marble, I found out, I found out, I found the other day outside by the trash place. Somebody had thrown it away. It wasn't in the trash, but it was leaning up against it. And so I'm going to use that as, see how that works out as something to, rather than show you my old desk here, I'll be showing you this nice piece of marble. I wonder what the, it's really thick. I wonder it's about 11 by 12 inches, almost an inch thick. I guess it's three inches thick. Any idea what this could have been? And I don't think it'd be like on a, a, a uh, whoops. I don't think it would be a part of a tabletop or something. Not sure, but anyway. Anyway, this is a review I'm going to be doing here when I get done with this uh, got some other stuff too let me I'll get it maybe get into that in a little bit I uh, haven't posted an awful lot of found a new uh, site for at least for me for testing uh, speed of the internet it's uh, DSL reports so there you can see my internet speed when I checked it the other day. Uh, the grade school that I went to, uh, a lady there or some people there in Kansas City are trying to set up like a little breakfast or something, for a get-together for everybody who went to that grade school. Of course, that's in Kansas City, and I'm in Texas, so I won't be attending. I've moved things around in my... Uh, room a little bit. Got my new video card in, uh, the GTX 750 with one gigabyte of memory. Gives me uh, a new video card, and then I also I put in uh, eight extra gigabytes of memory, so I have a total now on this computer of uh, 16 gigabytes. You know, I really can't positive, I think, it feels like I think things load faster and everything, but I really uh, I can't be sure. I, it might be just in my mind. Uh, I I think I told you. I'm not sure if I told. I get confused about what I post on my blog and what videos I make. I'm not sure if I mentioned that the apartment complex that I'm living in. Uh, the new leases and my lease a new lease will start for me in March that they you know they always raise the rent but this time they went from they gave me the notice that I'm going from 860 to 715 a month plus for the first time they're going to charge for water each individual unit here does not, ha does not have a water meter. But anyway, they're going to charge for water. They're going to charge for gas. Now, the only thing gas in here is the next to the office is a boiler, and that's where the water is heated up and then pumped out to the various apartments. They're going to charge uh, seven fifty, I think it is. They're going to charge $7 a month for gas times the number of people you have living in the apartment. 
Uh, they're going to charge seven fifty a month for a pet. And the people who I just we just my daughter actually did it for me. We have a cat now. It's underneath my wheels here on my chair. So it was three fifty if you wanted a pet. You had to pay the office three fifty. Now they are going and adding that uh, uh, seven fifty a month. So let's see, gas, water. Seems like there was something else. Anyway, just major increases. By the way, this entire apartment complex, the piping system underneath the ground and underneath the parking lots must be terrible. There's constant leaks, so we're going to be paying for it. Uh, how did I get on that subject? Anyway, oh, I think that was it. The fact that uh, I think we're going to have a lot of people moving out. I'm going ahead and renewing my lease for a year. But I think there'll be a bunch of people. I know several people have, well, people always move out every month, but I think there'll be more. And I uh, just went and checked the mailbox. And this was out by the trash. These books are sitting here as a recyclable container. And somebody who got rid of all these books, thank goodness they didn't throw them in the trash, but I think they should have taken them to a library or, uh, you know, used bookstore or something or other. I wonder if these people had a bookstore or something because there's uh, John Ashcroft, the former one of the former attorney generals, wrote a book, I guess, called Never Again, and there's a whole bunch of copies there. These are children's books. There's a whole bunch more children's books over here. I love books, but I, I've been trying to get rid of things, get make room for myself. I don't have enough room for everything. I'm getting confused. I've got stuff on the shelf that I have, I think, reviewed, and then there's an, another stack of stuff that I haven't reviewed yet, and then when I move stuff around, I'm afraid some of it gets mixed up. But it breaks my heart that there are books out there. This being Texas, you have to be careful. Somebody might start a book burning. Um, this will be arriving today. These headphones for me to review. And this is the power bank that I just told you about. It actually seems pretty neat. 3200 is pretty good, but uh, I, th I reviewed that one that was, of course it's big, 50, I think it was 5800 or something. This I haven't reviewed yet. Uh, these shoelaces I was sent to review and I gave those away, of course, to somebody. Uh, I was sent these pens slash styluses to review. I gave those away. Um, this Gorilla Glass, or not, well, it's not, it's uh, tempered glass protectors for iPhones. I don't have an iPhone. And, uh, I may send it to Washington, D.C. My daughter has an iPhone. Uh, I did a review of this in the past. This other new company asked me to do a review of it, and I did a review of it, and i uh, going to have my ex-wife sell it on eBay. Um, this is the memory that I got for my computer. Eight gigabytes, and I uh, 
like I said, upgraded to 16. And let's see here. I reviewed this already. Actually, it's not a uh, not a bad item. These uh, wooden wheels here, whatever they you know they rotate, they roll around. Not a bad, not a bad thing. Let's go back to the other view here. Uh, these glasses actually um, not bad. They, it looks cheap. I guess it sort of feels cheap, but uh, you get altogether five lenses. There's polarizing lens. I actually uh, I think I have a video of me Or did I already put that? Well, maybe I did. I already put that in the uh, basket, which capture one, capture two. Maybe this is it. See if this starts to play. I think this is it. No, I guess I have to restore it first. Okay, restore. Okay, let me go see if this is the correct video. I hope it's not the wrong video. I mean, that could be a, that could be embarrassing. I'm wearing those glasses. Oops, oops, oops. I hope we're still connected. Yeah, I'm doing the desktop, so we would be. Whoops, go back to this. What else? Um, I reviewed this. I Yes, I did. I reviewed that memory card reader. At first I thought that's kind of rinky-dink or whatever, but uh, actually it uh, works out for good something like, it, you know, I just plugged it in here and also uh, gave it to my daughter because she's got the Chromebook. She's using a Chromebook or has a Chromebook now. Uh, she took her broken main her laptop her, that she really likes that she bought in Sweden and uh, Left it at Best Buy to see what if it can be fixed. I haven't reviewed this yet. Well, there's a bunch of stuff I haven't reviewed yet. And I haven't reviewed this yet. Probably never get cold enough in Texas for this thing. Let's see here. I think that's probably, uh, there is a, a little story that I want to uh, tell you. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to wait until uh, Hillary goes back to Sweden. I want to tell you about a little difficulty that she had, but I don't want to say anything until she's out of the country. Don't want her to be harassed by the police or anything, so wait till she's out of the country, and I just want to talk about uh, something. It's something that I've talked about in the past. There again, I'm not sure how much of it was on a YouTube video and how much was in my blog, but, well, let me, the fact that I don't think that I, don't, I really don't think that small, very small communities should be allowed to have 
their own police department. Well, they should be allowed to have a police department, but if they're really small and they have a very small population and they have a very small area, geographic area, they should be required to get the policing from a major police department that is next to them or from the county sheriff or from the state highway patrol because, and I don't want to go into a lot of detail. I think I went into some details on it. Don't want to go into a lot of details here. But uh, when you, um, when you have a small department like that, a, a, a lot of the time they just do not have the funding in order to hire really good qualified people and pay them a living wage and then you run into all kinds of problems where uh, the officers uh, may write tickets and order and it, well, when this came up was because of the Ferguson thing and then I heard about how things operated there and and what the city was doing and the court was doing and that type of thing so that's when I that's when I wrote about it on my blog or talked about it here and had a little example of that and two the problem when you have sometimes some of these small geographic areas sometimes you have very few people in it but people who are wealthy well who have you know who are white upper middle class people I guess in other areas it could be it could be different but when you have these people so what happens is the police department knows you know hey these are our people so the police department prey on people traveling through or who come into you know maybe this little geographic area has a Walmart or has some type of businesses or whatever that people come from less socially uh, higher income what will be what's PC correct anyway you'd get the idea these people come into this community the uh, local police department knows that hey these you know these people you know in this little community here our our town that we patrol and protect and whatever you know they don't get ticketed probably they get handled with you know really uh, gently but somebody coming through you know cab drivers truck drivers that delivering stuff to stores uh, employees at those stores who don't of course live and can't afford to live in it there's an all types of things so something I want to discuss again with an example using my daughter um, guess that's it I gotta make sure I don't this cat gets right underneath the wheels of my chair this cat has never been I think hurt or injured or anything because it doesn't doesn't realize it's in danger I want to thank you very much for watching the video